Hello everyone, this is Sammy. The topic is how to draw a Lewis structure and find electron and molecular geometries and find bond angle of a compound. The question is draw a Lewis structure for CCL4, which is carbon tetrachloride, and determine electron geometry, molecular geometry, and bond angle. So the first step is we need to find the number of valence electrons for the compound, CCL4. Okay, then afterwards we'll need to draw the Lewis structure. So we'll go ahead and we'll write down carbon and chlorine, and we'll find the valence electrons for each. So since carbon is in group four, it's going to have four valence electrons, but we only have one of those. So we're going to multiply by one and get four. Chlorine is in group seven, so it has seven valence electrons, and we have four of those. So we'll multiply seven times four and get 28. We add these two together, we get a total of 32 valence electrons. Now, the carbon is the, um, the least electronegative compound um, at, or element in the compound, and that will go in the center. So carbon will go in the center, and then it'll be surrounded by the four, four chlorines. Um, we need to go ahead and form single bonds between the, chlorine, the carbon and each chlorine. So we'll put uh, two single uh, electrons uh, between uh, each carbon and, elect and, and uh, chlorine uh, bond. So we'll put two electrons here, two here, two here, two here to form the single bonds. So we have total 32. We used up eight for the single bonds. So we have 24 electrons left over. We have four chlorines. Each chlorine can take six more uh, electrons. And so six times four is 24. So we've used up all the electrons. So you can see that each chlorine has six electrons. Okay. Now a question we have to ask ourselves is, uh, is the octet rule satisfied for the carbon and each of the chlorine atoms? So if you look at the carbon, we have eight electrons, so yes. And if you look at each of the uh, chlorines, we see that we have eight on each of the chlorines. So the chlorine, yes. So so all the chlorines and all and the carbon have satisfied the octet rule. So now let's go to step, uh, well, and then this right here was the Lewis structure, so we, we actually drew it right there. Okay, now let's go to step two. Step two is to determine the electron geometry. So the form for the electron geometry is A, X, B. A is the central atom, uh, X is the number of surrounding elements and lone pairs, and B is equal to the steric number SN. So B is equal to steric number SN, and that is equal to M plus N. Okay, so M is equal to the number of surrounding elements and N is equal to the number of lone pairs. So if we go back and look at our Lewis structure, okay, carbon is going to be A, the central atom, okay, and it's surrounded by one, two, three, four chlorine atoms. So so the so number of um, atoms uh, that are surrounding the chlorine, that's going to be equal to M. So that would be four, that would be four. Now, the the uh, number of lone pairs, N, is the number of lone pairs that's, that's on the central atom carbon. And as you can see, there are no lone pairs on the central atom of carbon, so N is equal to zero. So we just add those two together, we get four. So the steric number, which is equal to B, is four. So the, formula, the form uh, would be AX4, which is tetrahedral. So that's the electron geometry, tetrahedral. And then the last step is step three, determine molecular geometry and bond angle. So the form for the molecular geometry is A, X, M, E, N. A is a central atom. X is the surrounding elements. M is the number of surrounding elements. E is the lone pairs. And then N is the number of lone pairs. So we already found the M and the N from before. So we just plug them into here and we'll get AX4, uh, which is tetrahedral, okay? And then to find the bond angle, it's going to be based on the molecular geometry. So once you know the molecular geometry, which is tetrahedral, you can actually find the bond angle. And that's going to be um, 109.5. So if we were to go ahead and draw what a tetrahedral looks like in a ball and stick um, uh, figure, um, it would look just like this. And you can see that... Uh, the, you know, between the bonds, 
you know, these arrows between the bonds um, represents the uh, the 109.5 bond angle. And that's it. 